Okay, so we are continuing with the uh, model here. So I'm going to duplicate this piece, Control D to duplicate it, E to rotate it. I'm going to move this. I'm going to use that piece for that uh, top area. Click that face shift, double click the face next to it, then double click these and delete them. And now I can kind of shape it a bit. Go to vertex and just shape. Now what I'll do to save some time is duplicate it, press Ctrl D and then E to rotate it. Move that guy up. So as you can see now we have this guy which we can use. Again just saving time here. Go to vertex. Select both of them and go to mesh combine. Now select two vertices and go to edit mesh and merge merge edit mesh and merge and now we just control delete or backspace to delete those edges And as you can see now we have that piece. Okay. And I think we can go and go to edit mesh and extrude to give us some thickness. I go to modify freeze transforms so that I can move the uh, pivot point to the center of the object. I'm going to scale this guy just a bit like that I'm going to press E and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and kind of place it in the area that I want it just kind of looking at the concept here I think we can do scale that guy a bit more move that guy up Now I'm going to rotate it a bit because it has a rotation. If you look at the image, I'm going to place it like so. Notice that I'm keeping this uh, piece really simple and as a solid, uh, unlike the uh, concept. I'm going to duplicate this guy, Control D to duplicate, E to rotate it by 90 degrees here. move that guy and place it like so press R to scale put that guy up there I'm gonna move this guy, we scale that guy just a bit like that. Move that guy to the front like that. And I'm just kinda of doing my best to match it to the concept. Uh, it's gonna be a bit rough even here uh, because I'm kinda of in a time constraint here. I don't wanna uh, take too much time making this model. Of course, you can always take your time and make it uh, match the concept a bit better. Let me go to insert edge loop tool and insert an edge loop right there. Let me go to the side view this time. I'm gonna scale that guy just a bit. I'm just gonna get gonna get the silhouette that you see in the concept. I'm kind of looking back at the concept a lot. Uh, I mean, I wish I had more time to kind of look at the concept and make sure that I uh, match the model to the concept I'm just kind of just make it in as soon as 
as quick as I can but at the same time show you how you can do it I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate this guy move that guy to the side like that and now for this piece I can go to enter edge loop 2 add an edge loop there one right there and one right there next to it and the same for this side Q to exit and I'm going to select those faces go to edit mesh and we're going to use transform component and use the blue arrow make sure you use the blue arrow for this guy okay that's cool now I'm going to select the front faces I just want to select the faces from the front so I can go to the front view here select that shift select press control to deselect again to select uh, faces it's shift and then to deselect control go to transform component and I'm going to click on one of the cubes and then the one in the middle to scale that guy down and then use the blue arrow just to move it a bit and I think we have a better looking uh, piece there that connects the uh, bottom to the top I want to scale this guy just a bit I think it's a bit too uh, thick I'll delete that one just so I can reuse this one scale it just a bit more maybe like that and then move that guy and control D and move the other guy to the side I just want to delete that one because I think I think I can do better with the uh, silhouette of this guy I think it goes this way instead we go to insert edge loop tool add two edge loops then kind of move these guys like that like this oops I just want to match the uh, shape just a bit better we go here to vertex move those guys like that I just think this looks uh, a bit more accurate press ctrl D and move this guy to the side Again, sorry I had to like redo that I just, I just want to make it bit look a bit uh, better so I'm duplicating this guy uh, and I'm going to use this one as the top piece it's going to be a bit uh, hard to match this guy Double click the edges and press control delete or control backspace. Control backspace. I think this piece uh, can be a bit more simplified than the uh, than the other piece. So I'm going to move this guy down a bit. I just want to match it to the concept, of course. Now I come to the side view. I just want to shape it just uh, slightly deleting by deleting these edges right here again to delete an edge loop double click the edge loop and then uh, on your keyboard press control backspace I don't know I think I'll undo that one just bring it back 